Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So today I've created a video that will highlight the 50 states of the United States and what butterflies they recognize as their state butterfly. I hope you subscribe to my Dave the Butterfly Guy channel here on YouTube and click like if you like it and enjoy it and I'll continue to post videos talking about butterfly habitat, how to save monarchs, how to attract swallowtails, anything related to butterflies. So, so again, we're going to jump right in and start talking about the states and how they recognize butterflies. There's a lot of states that have selected a state butterfly. However, there's actually a number of states that have not. In fact, there's 20 states with no state butterfly. Here's a list of some of those states right now. Again, they may not feel it's a super important thing that we've got these pollinating insects to help us out. I'm especially embarrassed of the states in the upper Midwest, North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, Wisconsin. None of them have selected a state butterfly. However, Minnesota has, so they'll have to represent for the upper Midwest. So let's move on and let's talk about the states that have recognized state butterflies. In Arizona, they've recognized the two-tailed swallowtail. In Arkansas, they've recognized the two-tailed fritillary. And in California, they've recognized the California dogface. Colorado state butterfly is the Colorado hair streak butterfly. In Florida, they recognize the zebra long wing. And in Hawaii, the Kamehameha butterfly. In Kentucky, it looks a bit like a monarch, but it's the viceroy butterfly. In Maryland, the Baltimore checker spot butterfly. And in Mississippi, the spice bush swallowtail. In New Hampshire, the Kamer blue butterfly. New Mexico, the Sandia hair streak butterfly. In New York, the red spotted purple white admiral butterfly. In Oklahoma, the black swallowtail. In Oregon, the Oregon swallowtail. In Tennessee, they have this fabulous looking butterfly, the zebra swallowtail. In Wyoming, the Sheridan's hair streak butterfly. These six states, Alabama, Delaware, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia, all have the same butterfly represented, the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. It's a magnificent butterfly. And lastly, selected by seven states as their state butterfly, although Alabama lists it as their state insect, these states include Idaho, Illinois, Minnesota, Texas, Vermont, and West Virginia. So let's hear it for the monarch butterfly that gets more representation than any other butterfly across the United States. You go, monarch. That's awesome. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my summary of the butterflies represented by each state. Although you heard there's 20 states that have not selected any butterflies yet. And one state, Alabama, has actually selected an eastern tiger swallowtail as their state butterfly and the monarch as their state insect. So they get two butterflies with with their vote. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel, Dave the Butterfly Guy. Click like. And for now, that's all I got. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day.